guys, welcome to my English channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on how I curl my new short hair. You guys requested this a lot and I noticed that I really didn't talk about my shorter hair much. And uh, on this video, I'll be telling you what my new cut is and how I'm curling it to look more natural and not so done up. So I really hope you like it. And before we go, I want to teach you a Portuguese word. Today, I'm going to teach you how to say haircut. So in Portuguese, you say corte de cabelo. Corte means cut and cabelo means hair. So corte de cabelo. I really hope you like the video and let's get started. So the first thing I do is comb my hair to make sure we have no knots and it's sleek and nice. The second thing is dividing the hair. So I divide the top part and leave the bottom part to start with. So I'm gonna tie it here. You don't have to divide the hair if you don't want to, but it helps me out, especially if you, if you have a lot of hair. Um, dividing it in two parts will make your hair fuller so you have more volume. And because I like a lot of volume, I divide it so it looks nicer. But when I'm in a rush, I don't. I just start curling it um, and I don't part it in half. So now I divide here in the back of my head two parts, the right and left and always start in the back of the hair. So you're gonna start getting little sections from the back and I'm gonna get my curling wand. This is the same wand. Even with the shorter hair, I use the same wand because this size is what gives me the best curl. It's not too small, but it's not too loose because my hair, I have a problem with my hair. I do the curls and then I lose them really easily. So if I use a bigger wand, a larger wand, it won't last long. So this is the size that works for me. And then the ideal thing is put your hair on top of the wand. So always start from the top and then curl the rest. And then my trick with the smaller hair is to leave the end straight so I don't curl it until the end. So I leave about two inches without touching the wand so it would be like a straight end. And that's what's gonna make the hair more messy the way I want it to be and not so done up. So after I take the wand out I like to squeeze it in a little bit. And you have the curl and you see that the end is straight and then after the whole hair is done it will give it a really nice effect so i'm gonna do this on the whole hair take another section starting from the top always hold the end straight and then put some music on because you're gonna get bored <laughs> So now my hair looks like this and you can already tell that it's very, it's a very natural curl. Um, the ends make a big difference to give it this natural look to it. So now we're going to do the top section and it's going to be pretty much the same thing that we did on the bottom. Divide it in half and start in the back. And I didn't say it, when you, if you're using a good hot wand, uh, you can leave it on for about 15, 20 seconds and you should be good. And then the front, I curl it the same way, but I don't leave it as much or else it would be too curled. And then when I take it out, I like to pull the ends to loosen it a little bit. So that's it. That's how I've been curling my hair. And to make it more loose, I just run my fingers through it. So with the short hair, I'm not using much hairspray because 
it kind of loses the more natural curl effect that I want. So what I've been using is dry shampoo just to give it more texture. So this one is from Tresemme. And I just spray it. So it's gonna look like this. And I've been loving my hair curled this way. Uh, because it looks super natural and I just like it and a lot of you asked me what was my cut how was it so I cut it straight um, and with only a tiny bit of layers like very simple layers just to give it more volume but straight cut and it's like a little below it's above my armpit and below my shoulders so yeah i really hope you like this video please let me know if you have any questions suggestions for upcoming videos leave me comments below and i'll see you guys next time stay beautiful